Hey folks, it's uh, Stacy here, Homestead on the Hill, and um, I'm down at my neighbor's place, um, Derek, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this machine over here. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, one of the drive units has failed, and so we're gonna pull it out and slide a new one in. Sounds pretty straightforward, but you know, these things work. It's gonna take a lot more than what I just said. Anyway, um, if you just look around here, Derek's place is, um, in 2021 i lost everything in 2014 and in 2021 the fire came through here and pretty much devastated his um, property and all of his um car collection derek how many cars did you figure you had four or five about, about 30 maybe <laughs> maybe 30. they're not they're not all mine but uh... well, they're not all his and um anyway it's kind of heartbreaking because they were some pretty cool collector cars and they all got burned up and um, there you be. But Derek is resilient like we are and he, uh, what do they say? We're gonna build back butter or build back better. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're gonna get to work on this. I'll get the kid, my videographer, to uh, do some footage today as we um, try to get this thing working and uh, have at her. This is the final drive. And in behind here is, um, you can just, I don't know that you can see that or not, but there's this big sprocket what that does is it um, catches on to this and makes this thing makes the tracks turn so the machine can move forward or move backwards and this unit has failed and so we're going to slide this whole thing out what do you figure it weighs derek 300 pounds yeah three or four hundred three or four hundred pounds so um thankfully i got my kid here with me um she can uh, she can help out lifting it out of there <laughs> but um we're gonna try to get that out of there over here in this beautiful box is a brand new one and so you can see come on over top here you can see how the, the sprocket if that's there and then all this piece here and so let's see can I lift this I think it's still bolted down but uh, so we got to try to get this one out of here we're gonna get that one out of there and then slide this one back in in its place and the reason I'm doing this is not only up here <clears throat> not only because I'm a hell of a good neighbor, but also because I want to get Eric to come up to my place with this machine to build a big fire break across the top of the property and to level off a spot at the top of the hill where the homestead is and um, <clears throat> just clean up some of the, some more of the debris from the, the fire. So that's my rationale. But also because I'm a good neighbor and Derek's always been good to me. When I had a tree, like a massive Douglas fir that needed to come down, that was a bit of a danger tree. Uh, Derek came up there on his birthday, no less, and cut it down for me. So being a good neighbor, that's the way he is, that's the way I'll be. You're probably twice as strong as me anyway. <laughs> Not anymore, I can tell you old age is starting to take its toll. What we're doing is we're adding a little hydraulic fluid, hydraulic oil, into the machine because what we have to do, the hydraulic um, system runs the entire machine. And um, what we have to do is use the machine to lift itself up so we can take the weight off of the final drive. It's all, it's like all of Derek's um, video fame. It'll end up on the cutting room floor. It's a Jack Nicholson movie directed yeah. by Sean Penn. 13 hours. He, he did 13 hours of... And I got about one second of me walking by. <laughs> got my hand in it playing pool for a little bit. Just pan around and look at Derek and figure out. Wonder what role he played. Do you think he was the businessman, the banker? Uh, what, what part do you think he played? <laughs> I was a, one of the guys in the bar. There was, there was, how did you uh, manage to stretch to play that role? <laughs> <laughs> for almost a whole minute. <laughs> okay. See the how over here the buckets moved over there now it was over there we got it over there so what we did was we found out that we were losing hydraulic oil through this return line here and there was a, a vent over here that puts it into here anyway we managed to hillbilly fix it so that we didn't lose fluid and 
Whoa. There we go. And we, what we did was we got the bucket over there. We lifted the machine up with its arm and we put blocks underneath it so that we can hopefully slide that thing out. Stay tuned. So this. Well, we already did the sprocket in there, so I still need the tractor anyhow. Okay, you <laughs> want to run it? As you can see, this track normally sits on here, and that drive, come on around here, that drive in there would be bolted onto here. Similar to this one here. You know, this one here is on the inside, all lined up. That's where we, we want to end up. So Derek's gone to get the tractor so that we can um, try to pull this thing out. It probably weighs about 400 pounds. Um, I took the bar and I slid it out. Let me get my axle to the me. See now the tracks are off the machine. And we're gonna take the tractor now and just slide this all out of here. Let's see what we did was uh, Derek took the John Deere and put the bucket on here. Just gave a little a little up on the on the on the track, and then the final drive just rolled out. So now we got to get this thing out of the way and the new one in the way. This is the new one, so we want to be careful with this one. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. We got 40 acres and we got this rig turned around. We have progress. There's the new machine, or the new part. And this is where I'm going now. I'm going to see my friend Stanley. There's a VW Beetle looking for a home. Three of them. Sell them as a package. Look at that. K5 Blazer. That's a keeper. Is that a... Go. What we did was uh, we got the drive out of here. That's before coffee break, remember? And then, so we needed the uh, um, track out of the way. So we just hooked it up on the John Deere and lifted it up with it, put a chain on it, a choker. And now we've got over here, we've got the new unit and we're gonna use our finesse to get this thing up and into here and see if it fits. Yeah. What are the chances? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good chance. I hope. So, bring her in. Ooh. <laughs> I don't roll anymore, I must be like a piece of gravel or something. Eh? Okay, we just wait, just uh, put it back on the jack and bring it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slide it aside. Why don't we... I wonder if we should move the... Uh, how about if we stand it up on the jack with this on the jack? To try so that. Lower, lower the jack down. <laughs> okay. Sure. And then... Uh, uh, uh. Let's put some in here so it doesn't hit the ground. Over. Okay, can, can you kick that one over? So what I'm going to do is turn it over like this. And then so where's I'm going to try to stand it on the jack, okay? On the jack? Like that. <clears throat> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man, it's like a grease pig. Okay, now can we bring this, it in? This is the side that's. Well, I guess we can what, spin it once. Yeah. Okay, we got her good. I, I think so. And lift her up. You know my motto, my safety motto, Derek. Well, I hope you guys steal two boots. I do. Well, my safety motto is nobody works, nobody gets hurt. Another one. One more. Okay. One more pump. Down, no. 
Okay, hold, hold me there. Yeah. And let me come. So there's a lot, like a lug nut here, here, here. Yeah, one, yeah. one more pump up. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and line some holes up here. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Doesn't mm -hmm. look like it started. Get a couple more, and I'll bring them around. Mm -hmm. So Derek and I, more Derek than me, we got this thing in. We've got the bolts in here started so that it holds it in place. And it is almost five o'clock. Union rules: we're two hours of overtime is all we're allowed to do. So we're going to uh, call it a day. Derek's gonna run us back out the epic driveway and we will uh, go make dinner. We do have we do have some concern because this is what turns. So there, the drive comes down here and we're wah, and then this thing turns. So then the track turns. However, excuse my big butt, this doesn't move. So we there is a degree of uh, concern why does that not move? We'll find out. Maybe. Maybe filled with fluids or anything. Yeah, it could be that needs gear oil. Anyway, that's it for today. We're going to jump in the truck and get the hell out of this place. Go back to the other side of the Big Rock Candy Mountain. Be well, everybody. We're just driving down what we call the Epic Driveway, going over to um, the other side of the Big Rock Candy Mountain. Well, that's it for this week. Tune in next week to see, did we make the machine run or not? Okay, be well.